All right, today we're going to do a few things. We're going to collect data from the internet and put it into this table. Uh, so let's go to the internet. Come here, date and time sunrise, we'll go to the website and they have lots of good information and they tabulate it nicely. So here we've got this, I'm going to hit show so that it gives us the whole month of May instead of just this week. And if we select all of this, let's even get the headings, if we select all of this, we can copy paste it into that spreadsheet. So copy and then over here we can paste, but let's paste so that we're away from all of this table. We don't want to have them overlap and accidentally eat up some information. And then we've got this. So here's all this data and we want to just copy it over so that here we can copy and then we can paste. We can paste special even if you want. We just want the values. And so here you can see it changed a little bit. It's because I had chosen a different uh, piece. That's one way to get data without any of the unwanted pieces to it. And then sunrise and sunset, we can just do a regular paste. So let's do a regular copy and paste. These are all just different ways that you can copy paste. There, that's fine. And then for sunset, let's do uh, control C, which is the hotkey for copy, and control V, the hotkey for paste. And there we go. Now, length of day, it turns out, this is not really data that Excel can interpret. That's written as a text, which is hard to find out, but we can easily circumvent that problem. You take this sunset data and you say, Excel, take that data and subtract away the time of sunrise so I know the length of the day. And so Excel just did this calculation and it said that the, uh, the day is 14 hours long and one minute, which is roughly true. And then you take your cursor and hover it over the little black square and then you drag this down and now you've got a calculation for every one of the days in the group. Here, if you take a look, it's appropriately shifted the cells that it's looking at. So, now we have some other things that we want to get, like information about the distance to the sun, which is in millions of miles, but this is another just simple uh, control C, control V, and then the altitude is the last piece. This is another one that's a little weird, and it's because of this degree sign, so I'm going to copy that, but what is strange is that Excel does not like this data with the degree sign. So let's go to data and change that. I'm going to do text to columns because it's a great way to get rid of stuff. Here I've already got this pasted in, but I could have pasted it in from my clipboard. Uh, so it pasted it in. You can see that all these degree signs are gone. And when I finish, it'll give me an error saying, do you want to clear the contents? It means this next column over. And that's fine with me. I already copied them. Then let's make these so that they're the right format. There we go. Everybody has one decimal. And now it's just a control C and control V. So now we have all this data and it's all set out. We can nicely graph one thing versus the other, uh, which would be easily done by just selecting this and maybe selecting that. And let's cross our fingers in hopes that this works. So insert scatter plot and it didn't. So getting it to graph is a little trickier, but it is definitely doable. We could graph the length of the day and the sun altitude if you wanted. That one I know should work. So here you can go. You go. You see that there's a very linear relationship, which is kind of an interesting thing to note because both of these are changing. Uh, and so it's neat to see that the length of the day and the sun's altitude are directly connected. So that's the kind of stuff you can do and learn. We'll talk for another video about moonrise, moonset, and percent eliminated. So with that, have fun.